Hey guys. So it's been a it's been a bit of time since my last video, and that's because of several different reasons. Um, the section that I was doing in Swift, the Swift learning continued, took about a month to complete. But before that, um, I actually had to get my third Mac for Udacity. The first one I bought, uh, the OS wasn't the the most current, and um, I bought it like with that in mind. But I'd never owned a Mac before, and I just barely looked at something online that like listed the OSs and. I guess I just read it wrong because I got El Capitan um, when I'm supposed to have uh, Sierra, which is the current right now. Um, so, and then the second uh, laptop, man, the uh, the charger port just stopped working. Um, I had to test it with another charger, but yeah, it was a charger port. And, um, so, yeah, I did get a third one, got a MacBook Pro from like 09 or 010. It does the job. If you're going to get, if you need to get a Mac, um, make sure it's the latest OS and make sure um, the CPU and the RAM is at least decent because if it isn't like, it'll still be doable um, as long as you have the OS, but it's going to be a headache if your processing speed is crap because sometimes even Xcode um, is just I mean crap in like compiling something or getting the simulator to start up um, and if like you're doing a bunch of different um, um, debugging tests in in a row it's gonna be it's gonna be really frustrating for you if it takes way longer than it should for the simulator to start up again so that's important to keep in keep in thought if you're interested in doing this. Um, and then the Swift Learning Continued section. So that yeah, that took about a month, and it it was just a it was just a broad spectrum of the entire language of Swift, and you got to like you you downloaded a functional app. Um, that's like that's designed to kind of quiz you along the way. In in actual Xcode, you'll have a, a file with just one function on it, and that function, like the what that function is supposed to do, um, you need to figure that out. Or I mean, you need to figure out how to do that. So um, the what you're returning is your answer in what in the actual game. Or um, that you that you downloaded. So, for example, um, you got uh, you're playing Alien Adventure, and you're a robot, and you go along to uh, an alien, and it's like it asks you to sort something because the alien needs the alien needs something sorted right now, and you go ahead and figure out that sorting algorithm, and um, it when you do, it lets you pass and good job you get to go to a next alien and do something else um, and that's I mean that that kind of sums up what it is it's it's a pretty repetitive process you you for each uh, subsection you go through a, a, a bit of reading and some little practice practice exercises learning about the concepts and then you and then you implement them in the coding function, um, it's not as as fluid as it makes as it makes itself out to be, because um, like sometimes the things that you learn, um, even though you're using the same programming concepts, like you need like um, you you still need to do a fair about a fair amount of research sometimes to figure out how a certain um, keyword. Uh, works or how or how a certain function works. Um, so that's important to keep in mind. And the Udacity forums are extremely helpful. I'm pretty sure they have like um, people who whose job is uh, is to only work on the forums and answer people's questions because I usually get the same people 
every every time I ans I ask a question, and they're they're pretty they're pretty quick in their response as long as it's like a weekday, um, so that's pretty cool. And I, I mean I don't think there's I I only think there's like one or two situations where um, I couldn't figure something out on like with the help of the forum. Um, like sometimes I went on like Stack Overflow, but that was pretty few and far between. Um, I mean, and I'd say at least half the problems that you'll solve are pretty complicated. Like, um, I would, I would, whenever I would look up something that I couldn't figure out, um, like a previously posted question about what I'm doing right now, uh, it would the like the instructor or the the person working at Udacity would say, yeah, it's a pr this is actually a pretty complicated problem, and you would see that pop up a lot. Um, so that was, I mean, that was kind of cool though, because you would you would see like you your boundaries would be tested again and again and again. And um, I remember like some people would say like, hey, I, I worked on this for six hours um, on like just one problem, and. And I get that because they want to be thorough, and it's good to like figure things out. But when you spend six hours um, to figure something out on your own that you could have easily just like asked online for help for, like, um, I mean, it's all about like, like how much do you value your time, and do you like do you judge as the do. You, do you think that the time you're spending is is worth spending? Um, and for me, like if I I wouldn't I didn't spend more than six hours on a question. No way. I didn't spend more than. Um, um, I'd say a couple hours on on one problem solved. I think that's a it's a waste of time to spend an entire day on one problem, especially if it's about a section like um, mis like. Uh, like bit bit language like machine code that uh, that you barely go into at all like they cover they cover um, most things that are used in Swift in it so they even cover the stuff that um, you won't see that often in the future so I mean definitely don't sweat it if you can't figure out um, some of the, some of the problems and if you can't figure something out like the forums always there so there's there's that the forums are awesome if it wasn't for the forums, like I, I, I don't think I'd do this at all. Um, they're pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so I guess that's about it for the, for that switch learning continued. And right now I'm doing this, uh, the, the first app, Pitch Perfect. I'm halfway in, and so far it's a lot easier than than the last section I did. Um, like uh, I only posted on the forum once, and it was about something really weird. Like I mean, you'll learn. Like there's a bunch of things in Xcode that are really weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. More than that. it's just sometimes you're just like, oh okay, and just keep going on about your day. Um. So yeah, I mean, that's about it. I'll I'll post I'll post like what the actual. Uh, program looks like, and um, and like what it is, what it what it looks like going through Udacity itself. Um, but I mean, you got there. There's a bunch of free courses. Like, uh, there's a whole Swift learning Swift syntax section that I, I didn't do because I felt that I learned a bunch while solving the problems. Um, but but you can do it online for free. Um, instead of like learning as you're going. Um, and yeah, I'm, I mean, definitely look ahead of time uh, to the free content being provided before you start the, the entire paid program because that I mean that'll give you more bang for your buck. Um, it the it ta they say it takes about six to nine months to complete. And like looking forward ahead in the schedule that they provide you, um, I'd say I'd say it might take a, maybe five to six months to complete. And the last thing is um, 
your own app, like your own unique app from scratch. Um, and I figure I'd, I'd be, um, I'm going to apply to jobs throughout the process of this whole thing, but not as much as I will be until like right at the end of the program, like right before I start um, building my, my final app. Um, that's about it, guys. Um, there will be new videos coming up as well. Um, I'll be doing some raps. Um, I like to, to write rhymes and stuff if you're interested in watching. I also have an uh, Instagram page that I just started. And uh, if you're interested in how this journey is continuing, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.